All right, we are on um, 7-6 from our textbook, which is the percent of change lesson. And our learning target for today is I can find the percent of increase or decrease. Okay, some vocab words that we'll be talking about um, during this lesson. Percent of change, so that's the, how much is something changing. Percent of increase, so if that change, if it's increasing, then it's written as a percent of increase. And if it's decreasing, that's a percent of decrease. Okay, um, so percent of change. A percent of change is a ratio that compares the change in quantity to the original amount. Okay, and we show this by taking the amount of change and putting it over the original amount, and that'll give us the percent of change. And then that percent of change is shown in two ways, either the percent of increase or percent of decrease. Okay, so if it's in the percent of increase, then it is the amount... Um, that it's increasing over the original amount, and if it's percent of decrease, the amount of decrease over the original amount. And we find the increase or the decrease by taking either the new minus the original or the original minus new, or how I always, because we want that to be um, a positive number, it would be the large number minus the small, and then you decide if you're increasing or decreasing. So let's take a look at let's take a look at some of these examples here. Uh, the directions say, find each percent change to the nearest percent. State if it is an increase or a decrease. Okay. The price of gas in 1990 was a dollar thirty. The average cost in 2016 was two fourteen. What is the percent of increase in gas prices? So we put the, um, it's increasing, so we do the new cost, which is the $2.14, and we subtract it from the old cost, $1.30. Okay, same thing as taking the large minus the small, and we divide it by the original. So which number was it that we were starting with? Well. 1990 was our original amount that was before so that is what we are dividing by okay so 240 minus a dollar 30 equals a dollar 10 divided by a dollar 30 okay and we get Um, 0 0.8461. Okay, now we have to take that and turn it into a percent. So we move the decimal two to the right. So we would have um, 84.6. Hold on. 84.6 percent. And then we want to label with an increase because the price was going up. Okay. Uh, next one. It costs Nike $28.50 to produce a pair of shoes. They sell for $100. What is the percent increase on the price of the shoes from the cost? Okay. So they originally make it for $28.50 and then they sell it for $100. Um, so then we're looking for the price of increase. So the larger number minus the smaller, the new minus the old, divided by the original. When well, when they originally make the shoes, they're twenty-eight fifty. Okay. One hundred minus twenty-eight fifty equals seventy-one fifty divided by twenty-eight fifty. Okay. Divide divide out. And we get 2.508. Move your decimal over 1, 2, which would equal 250.8%. And again, it's an increase because the price is increasing. Okay.
Okay, a couple more examples. Try them um, on your own and come back and check. The directions say find each percent change to the nearest percent. State if it is an increase or a decrease. So the price of a new vehicle was $21,140. During the holiday sale, the car cost $19,820. What is the percent of decrease? So again, take the larger number. Minus the smaller number. And we divide that by the original cost. Well, the original price of the vehicle is 21140 So now if we do our subtraction, 21140 minus 19820 we find out that the um, price, the change, is $1,320 over the original. Now if we divide that out, it equals 0 0.062. It's always good to go three po points past the decimal. Now we move our percent or our decimal over two spots and we get 6.2 and we want it rounded to the nearest percent. So that would be 6 percent and it is a, a decrease because the price is dropping. Okay. Next one, find the percent of change from 84 feet to 38 feet. Okay. Um, so larger number minus the smaller number over the original which is 84. Again the original is what are we starting with? 84 minus 38 is 46 over 84. Divide that out and you get 0 0.547. Turn it into a percent by moving the decimal one, two spots over. You get 54.7. Now round just the nearest per percent, that's the spot in front of the decimal. Look to the one after. 7 makes it round up, so it would be 55%. And it's getting smaller, so it's a decrease. Okay. Alright, so that is how to find percent of change. The main thing is to um, find the amount that it's changing and divide it by the original amount and then turn it into a percent. Okay. If you're still stuck, you can go and watch the... Um, Rewatch any part that you're still stuck on. Otherwise, the online tutor videos for the textbook or online textbook examples. Otherwise, go ahead and take your 7, um, 6 Naiku at this time.